What's going on guys? This is Malcolm. You're on Malcolm Talks. I surely appreciate you guys visiting the channel today. I want to talk to you guys about something very specific and it's about hustle and heart. Because I used to be one of those guys, man, that would, that would look at somebody when they hustling and when they got heart. Like let's say we're on the basketball court and you got a guy diving after the loose ball. He's playing defense so hard. This man is sweating and going 100 miles an hour, full steam. And I'm thinking to myself, like, why is this guy playing so hard? You know what I mean? Like, we just we just out here playing, bro. Like, this is just a workout for me. I'm just trying to get a good sweat. You diving for loose balls, running in people's knees and damn near hurting people, playing so aggressive. But then it kind of clicked. I was like, wait, hold on. I'm going to mess around and get hurt playing with this fool unless I also play aggressive. <laughs> and that's really what life is all about, man. You see, you got people in life that are willing to die behind whatever it is that they do. And so since you know that, you have no choice but to chase your dreams and goals with the same level of veracity and tenacity otherwise you're gonna get hurt you're gonna get hurt playing around with people that's that are serious and i'm trying to you know make it in such a way and i'm not talking about violence or anything bad like that i'm just saying you're gonna end up missing out on a whole bunch of opportunities man getting into these arenas with people that are dead serious you know, the people that are up early in the morning. The ones that spend hours and hours preparing. How are you going to beat them? The person that wrote out goals and wrote out a plan. And wrote out deadlines and a timetable. The one that was up all night. The one that was reading constantly. The one that was working out daily. The person that was very particular about how they look in public. They, they, they take good care of themselves. It's important. Grooming. They make sure they buy a good cologne so they can spray it a couple times and, and smell good and leave a great first impression. They, they value their relationships. They don't burn bridges. You see, these types of people, it's just like diving on the floor after a loose ball. They want to win. And you can see it. You can see it. You can see they want to win. You can't play with them kind of people. Well, let me say that. You could play with them kind of people. But you also going to have to be on point, man. Because otherwise, you're just going to get blown out of the water, man. You're going to get beat by 50. The score is going to be 102 to 56. And you're going to get embarrassed. So bring your A game, man. Bring your A game, bro. You got to do your best work. You got to do your best. I'm talking about your best every day. And I'm not saying you got to stay up all night and get up early in the morning and, 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 you know, put in so much work that you're just exhausted and tired. No, no, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that you need a good sustained effort. I'm talking about sustained effort. I was just listening to Lil Weezy just a second ago. Lil Wayne. Listening to the Carter. The very first album. <laughs> now we know how successful Lil Wayne is. Lil Wayne will go in the studio. They, you know, Baby said Lil Wayne will be in the studio all night. And that he's actually a robot. A machine. That he's just built for this. He's just built different. The man will go out there and make thousands and thousands and thousands of songs. And you wonder why he's one of the greatest rappers that ever lived. That's why. That's why. So don't get it twisted. Don't get it confused. Don't don't um don't think that people were born with the silver spoon. That's that's not what it is, guys. You just need a fire that's gonna be lit up under your ass, man. That's all it takes. There's a few things that can do that. 
Children will do that. They will. Now, well, they should. Let me say they should. So if you have a child, if you have a young child on the way or the child is here, or you might have some nieces, some nephews, you know, children that are close to you, children that are uh, kin to you, right? Where you can see the daily struggle of their mother and their father or their grandmother and you're around them children and you can see, oh, these kids need something to eat. These kids need to go to school. They need clothes. You know, they don't necessarily have to be your kids, but you have to be close to that in close proximity to that to understand what that means. That'll put a fire up in the ass because you start realizing, wait, I can't sit around. It's impossible to sit around because when I get up in the morning, my son need to eat. And if your bank account is on zero, who gonna eat off that? You show me some food worth zero dollars. Maybe you grew it in the backyard. You still gotta buy the seeds and the dirt and the water. Anyway, man, this is Malcolm. You're on Malcolm Talks. All I'm trying to do, cause we all sitting on a skillet. Just, just imagine this. We're all sitting on a skillet on top of the stove. It's just some people got the heat turned up a little bit higher than others. Some people ain't even got the heat turned on, period. But it's gonna get turned on, guys. Whether you like it or not. I think it's best for you to turn up the heat. Don't let other people turn up the heat on your ass. Because then that make you feel like people are forcing you to do something. Nah, force yourself. Command yourself and obey your own commands, bro. Become your own slave. And you're going to win. Subscribe to my channel.